XRP the greatest digital asset ever created I'm so glad I accumulated before the space got saturated XRP the greatest digital asset ever created Make the haters aggravated, get the spaceship activated XRP the greatest digital asset ever created I'm so glad I accumulated before the space got saturated What's good? What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. So listen, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment to the channel. Definitely get some feedback from you guys on things that you would like me to talk about. This is my page. As you can see, I am here with Brad Garland House on one of the events out in D.C. This was about two years ago. Shout out to Brad. Shout out to everybody at Ripple and why I'm such a great supporter of not only ripple but the crypto blockchain space in general but let's get into it let's get into the news let's get into the news right now um pretty much i want to get into this port strike um i want to get into the strike and the reason behind a lot of these uh you know workers are going on strike we also have another major issue going on so listen to this video right here this is a recent video of what's currently going on why human trafficking is one of the reasons why port workers are on strike allegedly because i don't think a lot of people understand why they're striking one of the major reasons i've been seeing coming out of videos and reports from people talking about it is that they get tired of hearing children screaming inside the containers yeah you heard that right the workers are striking and the, one of the main reasons is they're tired of hearing humans being shipped over and screaming and banging on the inside of the shipping containers to get out. I understand we have a serious human trafficking issue in this country. I just did not think it was this bad. Never once did it cross my mind we need to be checking shipping containers. Okay, so human trafficking, if you guys like it, know it or not, it is a billion dollar industry. These big wigs are shipping over children immigrants anything you can think of is not just products in those ports uh in the you know big containers guys um let me show you something that i've seen back in this is supposed to be 1981 because it's not this is not you know a new issue this is a, the same type of issue this is in 1991 with well, 1981 excuse me and they are speaking about it on the news. However, you know, people like you and me, um, YouTube is our best friend, but they're not going to say this to the public about human trafficking. What? Listen to this clip. Uh, check did not clear the bank. And so we sent the truck out to pick up the container. I roll out there and uh, took the boss up and uh, started pulling it up. And, uh, it was so heavy, it just uh, it broke, uh, broke the winch. And we couldn't get it off the trailer, so we had to leave it on the trailer because it was too heavy. So I was asked by Nick to have a crew go down and unload the container at the other yard. I got a radio call that, uh, from Ryan Gillette, the foreman. He said the men were throwing up and there was something really wrong. One of them fell down and hit me right in front of my feet. And it was opened up, and there it was. All right, so that's that's what I'm going to leave it at. The clip is ho so horrific that they blurred it out because there, there are dead children in the containers. This is what they were talking about in 1981. This is not anything new. The port workers are on strike because there are about 80 plus thousand port workers that um, you know see this kind of thing on a daily basis or weekly basis or whatever so they are you know obviously a union so they started to strike not only for just more pay but more things that we don't they don't promote on television right so listen to this clip i'm not going to play all of it but i am going to play at least three minutes of this listen to port workers strike threatens the entire u.s economy how it will impact the 2024 election and we'll get more into that or what's processing going on right now 
If you were worried about inflation, here's another event that could cause prices to go up. And what that is, is the East Coast port strike. First time ever possibly since 1977. We're talking about an association with 85,000 members, the International Longshoremen's Association. This is the North American's largest longshoremen's reunion about to strike after midnight tonight. I'm shooting it on Monday tonight. Let me tell you why this is important to you. Here's what they're asking for. Of these 85,000 members, roughly 45,000 of the workers are involved. They're asking for a 77% raise for the next six years. This is 36 ports, roughly 43% of all U.S. imports pass through these ports. This is the first time they may be going through a strike since 1977. And they're worried because automation could lead to job reductions by 15 to 30%. And you should know about this. You know why? Here's a number for you. Watch this. Port of New York and New Jersey handles $240 billion of annual goods. A strike just in one of these ports one. could cost $641 million in one of the ports. The one in Virginia could cost $600 million a day. We're going to talk a about day. that today. $600 million a day. $116. All right. They work 40 hours a week. You pay them $116,000 a year. But you're paying us only $81,000 a year. We want a raise. So are they asking to match that number? Because that raise would be. A All right. So go take a look at this, guys. Um, Value Entertainment. Definitely a great uh, podcast to look into. Obviously, all on the news, everybody's talking about the profit, uh, you know, over people, unacceptable support, IL workers, uh, corporate greed versus workers' rights. Uh, so pretty much a lot of this is going on as far as poor workers. And, you know, the biggest thing coming up now is the election. All right. So this is another person that's talking about human trafficking and another reason why poor workers are on strike. Listen up. I also have another major issue going on in our ports right now, and I just wanted to speak on it. Because I don't think a lot of people understand why they're striking. One of the major reasons I've been seeing coming out of videos and reports from people talking about it is that they get tired of hearing children screaming inside the containers. Okay, you heard that right. The workers are striking, and the, one of the main reasons is they're tired of hearing humans being shipped over and screaming and banging on the inside of the shipping containers to get out. I understand we have a serious human trafficking issue in this country. I just did not think it was this bad. Never once did it cross my mind we need to be checking shipping containers for people. Can you imagine how long somebody's been inside of one of those, depending on how long they were waiting to dock? Right. No heat, no air, nothing. I pray for the workers of the ports because I don't think they signed up to deal with people. People. Yeah, that's a fact. So it's more to this that we that we see on the front end, guys. You guys, let me know your comments under the um, under the video here, uh, and I definitely want to just make it you know to your attention. This is a billion dollar industry as far as human trafficking goes. They're taking you know foreigners and things of that nature who has no family. Some of them have been kidnapped and things of that nature, and you know they have them over here coming to work. They're you know, it is it, it gets deeper than what we think and um yeah i don't want to go to down the rabbit hole too much because it can get deep and this video could be <laughs> at least an hour just to get down human trafficking so one thing i do want to bring it to your attention though because you know the truth sometimes it hurts and it, it, if you're not going to see it here you're going to see it somewhere else but just know that this stuff is happening and you don't want this to happen to your son you don't want this happening to your nephew brother cousin you know as far as getting human trafficked across the world this kind of thing is happening to families all around the world so you need to be privy you need to be aware but right now the port workers reach a tentative um, agreement to end the strike until january 2025 now, I have my personal reasons on why they said, quote unquote, is tentative because there is an election coming up. And, you know, that has a lot to do with who you're going to vote for. I'm not here to tell you who to vote for, but right now it's a lot going on and it's a lot of P. Diddy oil going around. It's a lot of human traffic going around. It's a lot of port strikes going around. It is a war going around. So. Yes, tentatively, they telling people to just go back. We're going to revisit this in January 2025. 
what do you guys think right so this is somebody also his name is justin barkley uh, i looked at his channel as well and he pretty much was saying the same thing i was saying just listen to what he has to say here we go who saw this coming it's over the International Longshoremen's Association getting the port strike. Those dock workers, 45,000 of them going back to work. But wait, for now. So the story is they're going to pause the strike and extend the master contract, the contract that they have right now, until January 15th. 2025 now why is that i'm sure it has nothing to do nothing to do with There's anything speculation on don't this. look here right now with the election going on <laughs> right now i'm sure it has nothing to do with the fact there's a massive natural disaster that is going to require people to rebuild on the east coast and there's just zero sympathy for anything like this right now um especially with the devastation the desolation we've heard reports of some of these folks being interviewed on tv saying yeah i don't i don't care i want my money 77 percent increase in no automation and while some of those ideas might be understandable uh, right now timing isn't good and i'm sure right. it had nothing to do with the fact that there's an election on november 5th and this this could hurt things for democrats anyway lots of folks are talking what do you think yep so i'm just you know make sure you guys follow me on the channel again i just wanted to come to you about the port strike there's so much going on right now i think my next video is going to be more about animation ai uh and you know how people are losing their jobs and what the unemployment rate is but guys definitely take your time and do your own research don't listen to what podcasters are saying you know make sure you invest at your own risk make sure you invest at your own timing but xrp is about 52 cents right now so make sure you go get that and i'm not a financial advisor but you know look into when it's blood on the streets do not put your money up when it's green um listen stay woke stay diligent god bless peace